Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on using the new Bound in a Box for Mac DAW plugin in GarageBand. With Bound in a Box 2019 for Mac, we've introduced a plugin that accesses all of the real tracks, real drums, and other content in Bound in a Box, but can be used right inside of your favorite DAW. The plugin comes free with the purchase of Bound in a Box, and the plugin installs when you install the main program. Everything that you're hearing right now in GarageBand was created by the Band in a Box plugin simply by typing in these chords and you can enter any chords in any key. Then we picked this blue style and generated the tracks. I'm going to go back in time a little bit to show you how we got these great sounding tracks. We're going to start with a blank GarageBand project. When you start a new GarageBand project, it will ask you what type of track you would like to create. The Band in a Box plugin is an instrument plugin. So I'll create a software instrument track. GarageBand will load another instrument by default. So let's change it to the Band in a Box plugin. We'll open the Smart Control section by clicking on this dial icon, but you can also press the B key. Now we'll expand the plugin section and change the default instrument to the Band in a Box plugin. You can find it under AU Instruments, PG Music Inc, Band in a Box DAW AU plugin. So this is the Band in a Box plugin. It's sizable, so I'll make it bigger. And now we have a blank chord chart. In order to get our tracks, we need to pick a style and enter some chords. I'll enter a chord progression first. I'll do it in the key of E, and I'll enter a basic major blues chord progression that is 12 bars long. I think that's good. I'll change some of the elements up here. I'll make the end bar 12. And I'll change the choruses to two, so that this entire thing will play two times. Now we can select a style either by clicking in the Select a Style area, or by going to the Select menu and picking Select a Style. So here's a list of all the Band in a Box styles available, and you can see there's over 6,000 to choose from. You can just double click on any style in the list to hear a sample of what it'll sound like. For example, I can filter by rock styles and sort them by heaviness, and listen to a few. Or I could filter by funk and listen to some of those. or jazz. or maybe some modern styles with synthesizers. Okay, back to our project. We need to find a blues style. 
So let's view all of the styles again and filter them by blues. Now we'll listen to a few styles. I especially like this blue style with a Saul Philcox guitar solo. And I'll pick a tempo maybe a tiny bit faster than that sample we heard in the style picker. 135 beats per minute. And I'll set that in the plugin as well. When you first add the plugin, it takes the tempo from the DAW, but since we just changed it in the DAW, I need to change it in the plugin as well. So now we're ready to generate the parts, and there are some custom generation options in this menu. But right now I just want all the tracks generated normally, so I'll press the top Generate button. It's creating the tracks now. Notice that right now there are some green squares and a blue square in this area, and those squares are empty. When the tracks are ready, those squares will be filled in. So now it's finished, and the squares are filled with waveform icons, meaning they're ready to drag into the DAW. Before we do that, we can sample these tracks by pressing play up here. And we can now drag them into the DAW, which can be done individually or as a group. Here I'll show you just dragging in the bass by itself, but I'll undo that so I can show you importing them as a group by dragging the blue icon. And now we have these tracks right in our DAW. And during playback, the chord chart also highlights the currently playing bar. So you can now mix the tracks, add effects, or anything we like. And as with all real tracks from real drums, these are real instruments played by real musicians. These are not individually sampled notes. These are actual performances by some of the top studio musicians in the world, able to play over any chord progression in any key you enter. This concludes the tutorial on using the Band in a Box DAW AU plugin with GarageBand. If you want any more information about the plugin, please go to www.pgmusic.com and navigate to support Mac plugin. Have fun!